So the seagull has a lot of synergies, right? There's a lot of different foods you can play. If I were to ask you what is the best seagull food, what would you say? Personally, I would have said mushroom, but I'm kind of feeling like the Easter egg as a play here. We're gonna investigate. I hope you enjoy. It'll be a good one. Triple beetle is interesting. Um, some panicking mushrooms, I think is gonna be fitting if we can get some mushroom teams going. That would be pretty funny. <laughs> or would it? I don't, I don't even know if it would be funny. But, you know, it'd be a thing. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. Okay, run it like this. We'll see how this goes. Not good. Love it. <laughs> Every time. Okay, level you. Throw an anteater. Hold on to you. I think we run something like this. This seems alright. Big hits. Love it. Oh baby, we're on. We're doing it. Ooh, hello. A nice free fish level up we got here. Get rid of you. Do we go Cappy here? I think we might. Cappy is just a great pivot pet. Like, look, we can just get a swan here. Ditch this, homie. Go swan, maybe even a thunderbird. I don't know. You can do anything you want. Do any garlic? No garlic. Maybe a beetle's interesting. I don't know. Okay. We hit there, guy. That's huge. Oh, and we're good. That's fantastic. Shrimp, huh? You know what? I don't even care. I said it. You want like a mouse or something? No. Well, owl. Mouse build. Roll me. Hmm. This could be pretty good. As like a stand in. Hold you. Hold you. And there's a cappy. Um, tell you what, ditch you, throw the Okapi in for a second, we're gonna do a capybara pivot, brace yourselves, it's gonna be insane. Oh, I see, so you have to play the Okapi and then roll, it's not just how many times you rolled last turn. That's kind of lame, but I guess I understand. Hmm. I mean, we could try the Deer Lord. No. Four squads are weird. I'm not a huge fan. They're just kind of clunky a little bit. Are you going to try this? Maybe. What if we ditch you? We're going nuclear. <laughs> We're going. Just throw everybody all over the place. See what happens. Okay. Such a weird thing. <laughs> Um, let's go here. Got a bunch of cappies. Probably ditch the beetle. I don't know, I like the seagull here. Even give him like grapes. Okay. I think we'll pivot, do a hard pivot next turn. You guys are all out of order. 
Come on. All right. Yeah, hard pivot, ditch all of our capybaras. Maybe we don't need a crow. Or maybe we do. I don't know. <laughs> Who's to say? Okay. Close. We almost got there. Okay, that's just too many cappies. Roll me. I don't love these. I'd like to get somebody that's like good, maybe. Level. Turkey, maybe. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, okay. Sell you. Throw in a Thunderbird. Hold on to you. We're not getting a good roll out of these cappies, but I think we're okay. I think we just do what we can with what we have. And we'll call it a day. Like, maybe we don't even care about the weasel, you know? Or maybe we do. I don't know. What do we care about? Somebody tell me. Love it. We're getting there. Okay, now we ditch the cappies. We go weasel. Level you. Yeti is actually very good. And then let's just do like this. Okay. Now we got some Yeti synergies going. Okay. So I think at some point we gotta start pivoting our seagull into like a mushroom. If we can get that working. Or we could do Thunderbird with the sea serpent. But I, I like the setup we have here. But let's try the the original, the first option. Throw you on here. Um, yeah, I mean, the seagull is just wasting its buffs right now, but that's fine. We'll figure that out later. <laughs> Let's go here. Mm, I think we're rolling. We could throw a crow in, perhaps. But I really think we're looking for a slug here. Log and then definitely like a mushroom. Which we're not finding any of, unfortunately. See, that's the dream. Why can't we get this? <laughs> Why aren't we getting anything good? Well, there's the snake, okay. We're getting something, it's just not, not what we're really looking for. Here to you. There's the orca, okay. Now we desperately need to find mushrooms. If we can find mushrooms, we're gonna be so online. But we are not finding any. This is looking pretty good. You got nothing. Got nothing in that beluga. Alright, so start us off here. Stack some orcas. Where are the mushrooms? Where are they hiding? Um, do we ditch the Yeti for another turkey? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I don't think so. 
I, I would ditch him for a grizzly though. Come on, give me a mushroom. That's all I ask. No mushrooms. Okay. Well, the seagull can go up front for now. To leave space for our orca, get these guys cooking up. You want to go in front to give the grizzly more, more potential attacks. I feel like we're, we're riding the line right now. We're almost there. Who snipes who? Oh dude, he has a better grizzly. We have a better team, love it. <laughs> okay, okay. Come on, something good, please. There it is. How do we do this? The seagull goes here now. You're summoning somebody who gets a mushroom. Okay, so somebody's gotta go. Maybe it's the bear. Maybe it's the turkey. What if we don't care about the turkey? Because I think the bear is gonna do more later on. But not right now, so we're in this weird spot. Slug is very good. You know what? Hold on. We're gonna do something insane. <laughs> this might be a little too insane, but we're gonna we're gonna see. You gotta give it a shot. Dude, come on, with the tar, really? Ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely horrendous. Alright, at least we didn't lose. We draw. Yeah, that tar was horrible. Um, okay. Roll me. Level you. Okay. Roll me. Give you a mushroom. And now I have to decide how we're gonna do this. <laughs> because this is a little weird now. Like, do we even care about the snake at some point? Probably, yeah. <laughs> I think we, we do. What do we got here? Chicken leg? Sure. Throw it on a bear. Call it a day. Because we don't want to waste all of our seagull mushrooms on the slug, right? So maybe we do slug here, but then the orca doesn't work. Maybe we sell the slug. And let the orca do its thing. Maybe that's a good way to do it. So the orca is still going to summon and not come back as a mushroom orca. Man, if, if we had six spaces, this would be amazing, but we do not. <laughs> Maybe we just do this. The mushroom seagull is super funky. Maybe we just run it. See what happens. We'll test it out doing this. Yeah, that was definitely not the play. <laughs> I mean, Mushroom Seagull sounds really good until you do it, and then it's like, yeah, it's a little funky. You just don't have enough room for all these mushrooms. You'd just probably be better off not running Mushroom Seagull, <laughs> unless I'm missing some interaction. But yeah, this is, it's way too clunky to actually work. Super Auto Foxes. Has anybody ever actually gotten Super Auto Pets? That would be awesome, if you have. Okay, we'll go here. We'll go here, combine, do a little something like this. 
think this is good. Not interested in getting the horse leveled. I will get rid of him as soon as practical. Just a whole bunch of shuffling, huh? Okay, level me. Happy early is probably pretty good. Um, let's do this. And we won't combine until next turn. So we might lose this one. But we're going to be cooking here from, from next turn on, I would say. Oh, baby. Instant Swan. Thank you very much. Is it a shrimp angle? Doesn't feel like one. He is 6'4". No, we don't need him. We're too good for that. Roll me one more. Okay. <laughs> Not quite what I was hoping there, but... I mean, we could do it like this. That's at least pretty good. We'll get a level up next turn. Level ups aren't very exciting when you're running a capybara team. They feel underwhelming, stat-wise. But, they are still level ups. You gotta appreciate those. Well, you... Clownfish, huh? They ditch you? Maybe it's time we ditch the... the cappies. Anteater is very good. Okay, yeah. No more capybaras. We don't need them. Oh, I messed that up. My bad, my bad. Fortunately, we got bailed out. <laughs> That's good. Um, give me a level. There's our seagull. We're going to put you here. Who are we getting rid of? Maybe the anteater? We can get some seagull rice cooking. That'd be huge. Okay. So our clownfish is kind of just hanging out here. Just being a goat. Love me a good hawk here. Thank you, thank you. Um, can we get a rice for our seagull, perhaps? Or maybe we just full send the Easter egg? Mm -hmm. Don't need another clownfish, probably. We don't find anything else though, maybe we do it. Yeah, that's fine. But I do think we do it like this now, because the Ogopogo is going to buff you before you go off. So we'll get a level 2 Hawk Snipe in here. And it was so worth it, dude. <laughs> Ignore the fact that he would have died anyways, and then it's totally worth it. Swan, are we going Swan? Are we going Swan here? Maybe. Only. Hmm. <laughs> I don't like any of these. This is kind of tricky. There's a slug. We've got a slug angle here. What if we ditch you? Go like this. So obviously we're looking for turkeys. That would be huge. If we don't find turkeys, we're kind of just in trouble, <laughs> for the most part. The only way to get turkeys right now is to level up our homies, and we're, we're doing a pretty shoddy job at that one, I have to admit.
That is fine. Give me a turkey, and we're all good. We're all squared away. No worries. Nothing. There's that guy. And there's that guy. A mammoth could be interesting. We do a mammoth mushroom with the with a level three seagull. That could be a decent backup, I would say. No, we're not getting level ups here. That's unfortunate. <laughs> this feels so weak right now. But just imagine when we get the turkey going. It's gonna be incredible. Oh no, he got rid of the thing. Um, okay. Go here. There he is. Okay. Level you up and then we'll get rid of the clownfish. We'll do this. Okay, so our seagull's not going to do anything right now, but that's okay. He doesn't need to. We've still got future turns. We're not at one art yet. We will be soon. Probably very soon. Okay, we're actually fine. We actually win? Hold on. That wasn't in the script. The buy cells are hard to justify when you got the seagull out here. He's just waiting to waste all of his easter eggs. I think we mushroom you. That makes some amount of sense. Roman. There's our turkey. Huge. Huge, huge. Okay. We're very susceptible to snipes, but I think that's just going to be, that's just how it is. <laughs> I am loving this team, by the way. Even if we're losing, this feels really fun. Alright, roll me. Huge. Maybe we level you guys? No, 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 no. We need the seagull. We desperately need the seagull level 3. Could also grizzly. In place of the swan. Maybe that wouldn't be too bad. Don't really care about a slug level up. Not nearly as much as we care about everybody else leveling up. Don't even care. Switch them around all you want. Okay, so apparently the seagull works on... on rabbits. When you summon the rabbit, it'll still give it the, the egg. But we might not even need a slug here. Right? Because then the mammoth spawns and just gives you infinite homies. That could be kind of good. Okay. I think it's time. I know we're going to be wasting our, our stuff, but we're going to risk it. I think it'll be worth it in the end. This is also good. Because we cannot afford you getting sniped. Now I think we do it like this. Feel free to debate this this play here. Okay. Now I think we do the chocolate here. And then we go grizzly. 
and then we go absolutely insane. Well, next turn we go insane. <laughs> this turn's gonna be a little dicey. Basically expecting a loss here. Okay, we're getting fortunate with the snake snipes. Very fortunate with the snake snipes. The snake has- he wants nothing to do with our backline, by the way. <laughs> that was a little dirty, I would have to say. Hold on to you. We could have a white tiger in front to get the mammoth to level three. Hold on, I kind of like this. Is that better than the slug though? It'd be an extra four four to, to three guys. It's an extra 12 12 versus a slug gets a lot from the turkey. I don't think so. I don't think that's the way to do it. I think this is definitely the way to do it. Okay, now suddenly we have way more <laughs> stuff to buy than we do money. Very different setup as we hit, were looking at earlier. Fantastic. I mean, I would obviously would have preferred hitting the turkey with the bear, but that's fine. That's manageable. Okay. How do we do this? Do we like... We got one roll to get one of these guys to level three. Let's just see what happens. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> I'd rather get turkey level three, if I'm gonna be honest. Let's just do it like this. Let's say we don't. Let's just assume we're not going to get the mammoth going. That may not be true, but... Yeah, like I said, this build is going to get sauced by snipes. That's just how it is. And you got a level 3 snake there. It's not going to end well. <laughs> but I don't think there's much playing around that one. Alright, give me a turkey. Or a seagull. New ones. There's the turkey. Okay. We, need, we got one more shot at the seagull if we draw this. Um, otherwise, this might be the end. Okay, the snake is not in the front. Repeat, the snake is not in the front. Oh no, his bear lives with one. That's terrible news. <laughs> Oh no. So hold on. If the bear didn't didn't live with one health, I think we would have won that. Yeah, I hate to see it. What's the best seagull food? Well, let's revisit that question. Is it mushroom? Is it Easter egg? I'm torn, honestly. This is a very disappointing start. I'd rather a chinchilla than the magpie. Dude. This is a spit in the face right here by the devs. Just the fact that this, this group can happen in the game proves there's no justice. I think we combine here. <laughs> Cut me some slack, please, I'm begging you. This team is horrendous. Absolute garbage. Okay, we got a jelly. There's a silver lining here. We're on a wyvern level again. We run it like this. Let's go Anteater here. We could run an Owl, and I'd be lying if I said it wasn't tempting, but I like this build here. And I don't like putting the Anteater toward the back in case there's some seahorse nonsense.
Okay. Can we bring it around? Let's let's find out. This actually isn't a bad pivot, I would have to argue. Despite the horrid nature of you know, all of this. There is the silver lining. Um, you get 2-4, you're gonna be stronger. Let's run it like this. Ooh, hello. Which means we can put you up front. Maybe we full send the Mermel, you know? <laughs> Anyone wanna just do like a level 3 Mermel build? No? Nobody ever? In the history of the world? Makes sense. Level you. Um, let's let's see if this old mouse has any merit. The level up old mouse toy would actually be very good here. Speaking of the devil. Because we could definitely guarantee two level ups in battle, which is just one one for everybody, assuming we get the flying squirrel. Um, roll me. Okay. I'm not gonna, like, roll for the flying squirrel, that's just ridiculous, but... If we get that toy again and it lines up, let's try it. But yeah, that's the thing, I... I refuse to hard roll for old mouse synergies, because it's just... It's just most likely not going to happen. And there's no point in getting your hopes up. Okay. Let's level you. The cow is interesting. You know what? Let's do it like this. Give you some grapes. Throw the cow in, then we'll freeze the flying squirrel in case we find the, the thing that we were looking for. Nope. Friend jumped. It's a big health homie there. Okay, you're gone. Let's get the chocolate. Might as well throw in a wyvern here. Who do we care about here? Silver fox, maybe? We could try silver fox angle. Or do we go like a beluga? Would beluga be good on anybody? Beluga's probably got potential. I'd be down to try it. I think once again, yeah, because we can chocolate cake the beluga and then it just goes insane. We'll hold on to the flying squirrel. If it works out, it works out. If not, we'll unfreeze him again. It tends to typically be the, the not working out part, <laughs> in my experience. But that doesn't mean it's always going to. The odds are not in your favor, we'll put it that way. Okay, we'll hold on to you until we find a good beluga whale target. Maybe a Nurikabe? Let's take a look. Let's play with purpose for a second here. Um. Yeah, tier 6s don't seem very good. They don't have great in-battle abilities. Silver Fox, honestly, I think might be the play. Beluga whale into a level 3 Silver Fox. Just get a bunch of gold. Okay. I think I do think it's probably better than Nurikabe. Maybe not like immediately better. Um, you can go. You don't need to exist anymore. Yeah, like what are these guys gonna do? Nothing. That's what I thought. Maybe we go here. Eat the Nurikabe for now. 
and then we'll hold on to a crow just to just to store some money, get a chocolate guaranteed. And then he just pops out as a ginormous Nurikabe. Not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Well, there's our silver fox if we want it. The beauty of it is the beluga doesn't actually need to get any higher level. But maybe we should try to get him higher. Right, so we can get rid of the Ogopogo eventually. Clownfish is probably a good play here too. Let's roll. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna eat him again. <laughs> so now we're actually gonna do this. I can hold on to you. Um, cause we want the Ogopogo to get a level, and you're already gonna get three. I think this is the way to do it. I may be mistaken, I'm not sure, but I think I like where we're at here. I mean, it's working. It's kinda working. So now let's get rid of you. And find another good pet, I guess. Chocolate could be interesting. Maybe go alpaca and ditch the mermel. We can get a little double alpaca synergy. Speaking of. <laughs> um, let's do this. Let's ditch you. Throw in an orca. And now we could snake. Okay, hold on. We're on to something here, maybe. I don't think we actually need another alpaca trigger. I think we just wanted the one. Okay, that's pretty good. That's even better. And then maybe pivot into Grizzly, give the Orca a Mushroom. We could do some interesting stuff here, for sure. This is a strange kind of team, but I'm here for it. And I just had a brilliant idea for how we should pivot this. <laughs> and it doesn't involve you, and it doesn't involve you. And it doesn't involve you either. There's one. We can mushroom you, I guess. Um, don't think we need you yet. I think we just roll. We're trying to find the seagull here. If we can seagull, that would be huge. Okay, we definitely want you. Come on. That's good. Don't care about you. There's another piece. Okay, hold on. We're getting there. This is coming together beautifully. Hold on. Wait just one second. How do these guys do? <laughs> That's dirty. <laughs> Y'all just did them dirty there. Okay, so now I guess we'll just give you like mana or something. We need a seagull. Not you. No. Oh, baby. We need a seagull and now we need mushrooms. Any mushrooms out there? Any mushrooms? 
I don't want to play the seagull until we have mushrooms, because otherwise he's just useless. There he is. Okay. You have a mammoth, good. <laughs> this feels great. Okay. How does this team do? Let's find out. They don't have snipes, that's a good start. Oh, he didn't get the, the trigger there, unfortunately. He got weakness too early. Oh, some shop, shop buffs, thank you. Don't mind if I do. Okay, now the seagull's gonna go off. After the desync error, of course. It was still daytime, duh. Um, I think we leave it at it as is. We could do some weird white tiger nonsense with the seagull, but no, no, no. Or do we? No. <laughs> or do we? How many are you going to summon? You're going to get mammoth times three. So that's, how much does a mammoth give at level three? Six, six. So that's 18, 18 on all your guys. And then it's 24, 24 if we do the white tiger. I still think the orca with the turkey is better. I'll give you a mushroom in case you get sniped. I mean, I'm loving this team. This is peak, peak seagull territory right here. Oh no. <laughs> this might not end well. Oh, that was a terrible way to hit that. Are we fine? We're actually fine. That was like, I'm a little sad that we won there because that was not showcasing the build at all. That was super scrappy, but in a way, I guess it was showcasing the build. It shows you how resilient it is, we'll say. <laughs> all right, now I feel like we've tested a lot of different seagull angles. Y'all gotta let me know. Who do you think is the best food for the seagull. If you made it this far, odds are you're enjoying the content. And I've got great news for you. There's plenty more where that came from. Check out these videos here that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy, and I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.